Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for the scrap room and I am using a kit from 49 and Market or a product, 49 and Market. <laughs> the kit is from the scrap room, hello. Um, this is Christmas Spectacular and guys, it is gorgeous. You know that nice thick quality you get with 49 and Market, so pretty. Uh, so this piece is called Homespun. Spoiler alert, fussy cutting these big giant things out <laughs> in a minute. Then this, uh, I think, is going to be my background. This is called Exemplified. I love the wordy bits. I love the splatters. I like the drama. Gorgeous piece of paper. The backside is a super usable paper. It would be great for matting. It would be great for, um, for uh, matting your photo. That's what I was going to say. It's also a great background because it's such like dark with dark that you can get a little traction with it. And then this one is called Postmark. So it's got all of these postage stamps and leafy bits and a fabulous stripe. Now, one of the things that's so fabulous about this stripe, by the way, look at that lace looking branding strip. That is gorgeous. Is you can actually use this for non-Christmas. And I always like that kind of thing. So let's see. Oh, let me show you my photo. This is a vintage photo. That's my mother. That's her brother. And you can't really see this little cutie patootie, but that's my Aunt Pinky. That's my Uncle Spike. That's my mother. Aren't they cute? And want to see something super funny? It has nothing to do with this, but see this little one? And then look at this little one. They look so much alike. It's weird. That's my son and that's my uncle. So weird. Same exact hairline. It's bizarre. Okay, let's go ahead and get right into this. So what I'm going to do, I just put away my photo that I need to use. Um, what I'm going to do is fussy cut these pieces out and see how I like them in the exact same location on here. I went ahead and matted my photo with just a scrap of white cardstock, no big deal. And I think I'm going to map my photo again right along here because I want to get some of that nice lime in. So I've got a little bit of that. Oh, and guys, I've got all of these die cuts and all of these chipboard pieces. So I have plenty that we can do. This is going to be so, so fun. I've got this fussy cut out, my little pieces. Love that. Let's take a look at some of these die cut ones. Now, you guys are so many treasures. So let me see for titles so far. Holly, Christmas, Joyous. Those don't go together. Holly, Christmas? No, Joyous Christmas. Aha. So we have Joyous Christmas we can have for a title. That kind of is fitting right there nicely because we have this white area. So that's great. Now, like these little bits here that you see, guys, we can totally fit those into our clusters. It's okay. Merriest Christmas, guys, ooh, look at the red and the green. I kind of like that. I don't know. I like the way these fit together and I like the red and green together, who knows? Okay, so we've got these pieces, we'll decide on these. I've got a couple right here that are gonna stay in the bin, great. Now, let's see, we've got this big giant doily piece that can totally work there. Pretty, pretty. The tag, nope. Ooh. Oh, chipboard poinsettia. That would be really pretty coming out. Maybe we can put that in there. Oh, 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 guys, guys. This would be really cute for a little tiny shaker. And because I have this, um, I have some little gold micro sequins. I'm gonna make a little tiny shaker with them. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas can go in there. Simply magical. I like the idea of that. We can have Santa looking at the children. Oh, look at this little thing, heavy cream. How cute. Holly Jolly Days can also go in here. We can totally put these things in here and get a cute little amount of traction. Look at that. Just like that. You go boom, boom, boom. The pieces go on. It is gorgeous. All right, let me make that shaker pocket. I want to pop these up. Let's take a look really quickly together at the pattern paper kit 
just to make sure that there's not something we should be doing before we start tacking things down. Okay, so I've got a couple pieces, of course. This one, it is called Hidden Holly, so gorgeous holly pieces. Ooh, that, that might be nice to fussy cut them out as well and go up on each side. Yep, that's happening. Okay, and then this, ooh, this might be kind of gorgeous to do this. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And then with this piece right here, I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut these pieces out as well and add them. So this one will go to this side. This one's not as big, it's like a little guy. So I can fussy cut that out. And this one can come down here. That would be really pretty. Okay, sweet. So that's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and get those pieces on, make my shaker, map my photo. I'm gonna totally gut this as well. This paper is way too nice to waste it without gutting it. Love that curtain plaid, that's gorgeous. All right, so that is now my matted paper. Love it, love it, love it, love. All right, so I'm gonna do all these things and I will meet you right back here in a few. So I've got these pieces down. I don't have my photo tacked down. I don't have my title tacked down, but these guys are attached down. So made my cute little golden shaker, little gold on gold action. Right now I'm thinking of that being an anchor with Santa, we'll see. I want Santa to be facing the children, so that's all good. So at this point, let's take a look at the Shots of Life kit. Ooh, guys, where's my embellishment? Oh, there it is. All right, the Shots of Life kit. Ooh, guys, there's all of these pattern papers. And look at this. These are like baubles or something like that. They're shiny, shiny. So those are like, like those great finishing touches. Let's see, let's see. We've got these gorgeous pieces. I was looking going, you know, we could find something. So, ooh, how about this one? And we can mat our photo with it. Okay. Why don't we find a couple to mat the photo with? So I think I'm going to take off these tabs for now because it's going to be hard to work around them. And I just don't feel like working around them. So we've got this really nice red polka dot. We'll do a nice thick mat with that. You know what we'll do? Wait, I'm taking it off. Let's use this bright green and then we'll go ahead and use a thick mat of the red. That would be super cute. And this bright green has text on it just like what we're using. So we have that. Then I'll get those pieces stuck down. Phew. Now, for the embellishment kit. Okay, okay, so we've got a sheet. Oh, these are gorgeous. We've got a sheet of rub-ons. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut a few out and rub them on directly to the background. I usually put them on some white cardstock, but I think I'm gonna do that so it's a little bit more subtle popping out everywhere. Oh, guys, look at how gorgeous they are. You can use the little splatters in things, like don't waste any of this. They rub on like butter. So all we have left to do on this little cutie, oh guys, Look at this little wee belief. <laughs> I just saw something. I'm like, oh, I know I was trying to tell you all we have left to do, but then I saw this little piece and it fits so nicely right there. Okay, all we have left to do is pop some of these little cuties on. So they are nice and shiny. So we can go ahead and pop them here, there, and everywhere. I just love the idea of getting all of these little pretties on this piece. So let's see. Oh, right there would be gorgeous. Like right where like a nail head would be by Santa. And then maybe down here, we can do that. So, you know, wherever, just pop the pretty things on. So let's see. These, I don't know. I, I like the idea for some reason of, um, of stars with Christmas. It's cute. We've got these cute little stars in this tone. Where's my, okay, I have that. Let's see, maybe a few up here. And then, let's see, we can do a darker green star. Oopsie, kind of, I'm thinking kind of straight. Kind of straight. 
And then one more dark green star. Let's see. Maybe here. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Ah! It's hard to make these little circular stars go on straight. And then, let's see. We've got I like these little polka dotty ones. There's three there, three here, and I need to put a cute little polka dotty one right here. And that, my friends, is that. So this was super fun to put together. I think it is adorable. It's nostalgic. We've got all of those gorgeous little layers. Um, is there anything else to tell you guys? Anything? Anything? I don't think so. So guys, I'm going to have the links down below where you can get your hands on these kits. Um, as well as the Facebook group, the blog, all that kind of stuff. And I'll have still shots to follow. And I think... That is it, guys. So I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. A few still strats to follow. Bye for now, friends.